I'm saying that she's a raging granny, but she's not in the singing group. But she has committed to laying her body on the line in an act of civil disobedience to stop the pipeline. One, an MP with far greater integrity than any MP I believe we may have ever seen in the history of this country, Elizabeth May. Thank you. I'm so thrilled to see so many of us all out together for the beginning of the walk for the Salish Sea. I've had people ask me, why have I got a cane? I don't need it yet. But I've got two new hips, and this was the cane I used before the last hip replacement. The thing is, I'm going to walk the whole way, and I'm not sure about my knee. So I've got this cane. I'm going to walk all the way to Burnaby, to the gates of Kinder Morgan. I have to say, who knew? When I marked this down on my calendar, okay, May 25th to May 28th, that's a good time for the walk for the Salish Sea. Who knew that through political alchemy, May 25th would turn into May 10th, the day after the day we knew how the election turned out. So it's great timing, and as Carol just said, it is very interesting time for politics in British Columbia. But there's never been a better time to make it really clear to the provincial government of BC, whoever occupies the Premier's chair, and to the Prime Minister of this country, Justin Trudeau, approving this pipeline was an enormous mistake. And it is a mistake that we will undo. Yeah. On, on Wednesday, last week, in question period, I asked the Minister of Natural Resources, now that there's a, uh, this didn't get a lot of coverage, but you need to know they, the Trudeau administration appointed an expert panel on the National Energy Board, an expert panel on environmental assessment, and they both have now reported back. And the environmental assessment panel says the National Energy Board should never do environmental assessments, and we need a much more rigorous national process <laughs> with only one expert quasi-judicial body to do environmental assessments. In other words, the process Kinder Morgan just went through has been found completely inadequate by the expert EA panel appointed by the government. And the National Energy Board expert panel, you might think, oh, well, that's not going to be a very good report because Brenda Kenny, president and CEO of the Canadian Pipelines Association, is on that panel, and it's co-chaired by a major industry voice from Quebec. But the National Energy Board expert panel with that membership just recommended that the National Energy Board be scrapped. Yeah. That it has lost all credibility with the public and with industry. That it should be moved out of its headquarters in Calgary, renamed the Canadian Energy Transmission Commission, and put in Ottawa with a whole new set of rules, not including doing environmental assessments primarily. So we're back to, so my question to Jim Carr was, now that your two expert panels looking at this process have concluded that what Kinder Morgan went through was a bogus exercise and a complete sham, yep. will you revisit the approval of a pipeline that should never have been approved? <laughs> now, his response was, no, we promised every project that it would never have to start over with a new process. But that's not what they said during the election. So the BC voters have done something hugely significant as we start on our walk today. The BC voters, the 17% who voted Green and the 40% who voted NDP, have said clearly what we will be saying every single step we take from here to the gates of Kinder Morgan. No way do we allow this pipeline across British Columbia Territory. No way do we allow tankers loaded with bitumen and dilament in our Salish Sea. No way! Yeah. Yeah.